what's up gentlemen so is it just me or does it seem like literally everybody on social media these days is yoda right everybody is trying to give you some words of advice or wisdom on how you should live your life to be happy well the other day i saw something that almost made my head explode it said the secret to happiness is having low expectations in this mindset gentlemen this is one of the most toxic weak things that we are facing and the truth is it's typical everybody's okay with being okay everybody just wants to be average not me gentlemen and if you're not okay with being average drop me one of these because the only thing you're gonna get with low expectations is life sloppy seconds and personally I'm not okay with that for me or you today guys I'm going over a few signs that your expectations are way too low and real quick guys because we're talking about expectations I just want to real quick tell you about a company that always exceeds mine and that is cuts guys what do you think about my new Henley I just got it from cuts cuts for me is like an addiction at this point they make premium perfect clothing for men casual clothing gentlemen whether or not it's long sleeve Henleys long sleeve tees short sleeve tees hoodies outerwear joggers gentlemen if you're somebody that expects and has high expectations for the way that your clothing looks fits and feels gentlemen you got to hit that link down below and check out cuts that link is special it's gonna give you a discount want to look better sexier more masculine you got to hit that link down below check out cuts their clothing is sheer perfection. The first sign that your expectations are too low is that you are cool and comfortable hanging out with losers. The question you have to ask yourself is what do you want out of life? If you're cool just being average, if you're cool just doing the same things you've been doing for years and what your friends are going to be doing in five and ten years from now, then cool, proceed. But if you are somebody that wants to elevate and get out of your rut, get out of your way and elevate your life to a different level, gentlemen, you've got to start surrounding yourself with better, higher caliber people. The second sign that you have low expectations in terms of dating you take what you can get as opposed to what you want people that are average people that have low expectations they are not willing to try they are not willing to go after what they want they settle they settle for average they settle for people that are not necessarily what they want but what they can get guys if you are somebody that wants more for yourself more out of life and to be fulfilled in ways that you can't even dream possible you've got to be willing to step outside of the box the comfort zone and try go after her. If there's somebody that you've been wanting to talk to, if there's somebody you've had your eye on, gentlemen, now is the time. Carpe, senorita. Loosely translated into seize the senorita, gentlemen. You gotta take action. You gotta make it happen. Because if you don't, somebody else, an Alpha M subscriber that's actually listening to me, is gonna do it and steal your girl or potential girl. Not your girl. Would have been your girl if you would have just grabbed yourself by the balls and done it. Been hot in here. Am I just starting to get fired up? Either way, I gotta change my shirt. And I'm back in a gray, sexy ass cuts. Henley, what? <laughs> like, ser ser seriously, gentlemen, you need this shirt. Link below. Anyway, the next thing I want to talk about in terms of a sign that your expectations are too low, you are living a life that you don't love. I'm not saying that things aren't going to be hard. I'm not saying that things aren't going to be challenging at times or that you're not going to have to work and bust your ass to make things happen. But your life is yours. It's your responsibility to make sure that you are living one of purpose, of passion. But if you are somebody that is allowing other people to dictate your direction, other people to tell you where they want you to go, gentlemen, unfortunately, your expectations for your life are too low. The fourth sign that you have low expectations is that you don't don't love the person you see looking back at you in the mirror. But Alpha, you don't understand, man. I'm not as good looking as Alex Costa. I'm not as tall as Jose Zaniga. And I'm not built as well as you. I'm not built that well. I just happen to rock cuts, which makes me look extra sexy. You know, the craziest thing to me is when I see a dude, right, and he puts a suit on that fits him and is tailored well. For the first time, you can see it in his face, the confidence that's radiating. The reason is because he knows that he looks amazing. Gentlemen, it's not just about when you wear a suit. It's about everyday casual clothes Thing, making sure that you dress with purpose and intention. The only problem with the company cuts that I've been talking about in this video is that they've spoiled me, if I'm being honest, right? Because I judge every single item that I buy somewhere else on them, their quality, their fit, and honestly, it never competes, it never compares. Gentlemen, if you are sick and tired of wearing average clothing, hit the link down below and check out my favorite casual clothing company, Cuts.
The reason why I love Cuts so much is because of the fit, the fabric, the quality of the items. Guys, if you try a higher quality item that's cut differently, that fits you better, it's like night and day. Not only are you gonna look better, you're gonna feel more confident. And that's the thing, whenever I put on Cuts clothing, I feel more confident because I look better. Guys, if you haven't checked out Cuts, I beg you to hit that link and check them out because I know what's gonna happen. You're gonna get one, you're gonna be like, damn, I'm addicted like Al. Alpha, all right? The truth is, they're not the cheapest brand out there because of the quality, because of the fit, because of the craftsmanship, guys. But the truth is that discount link is going to make it much more affordable. And once you try something higher quality, it's hard to go back to off the rack. You know how I'm talking about like the addiction of cuts? The reason why it's so addicting is because you get to literally choose the options that you want. All right. So for me, with this shirt, I went crew neck. I went curved hem because that's the thing. You get to pick the neck. You also get to pick the hem. And that's one of the things that sets cuts apart, right? They've got three different options. They've got split hem, they've got curved, and they've got elongated. And the other thing you get to choose is the neck, whether or not you want crew, you want V, or you want a Henley. But they've got more than just t-shirts and long sleeve shirts. They've also got amazing hoodies. The Cuts joggers are literally the most perfect pair of athleisure pants you are ever going to find. They're a little dressier than your standard jogger, which makes them perfect for going out, combining with those perfect minimal leather sneakers, a nice sexy hoodie, and just casually kicking it in style. I'm telling you, gentlemen, if they have these in stock in your size, you need to grab them. That is one of the other problems with Cuts. They always sell out of the popular styles, but they have a lot in right now, guys. If you're interested, hit the link down below, check out Cuts. At least grab yourself a shirt to see what I'm talking about. You're not only going to look better, you're going to feel more confident. Hit the link and raise your expectations of how clothing should look and how it should fit because the truth is, gentlemen, nothing can pair, nothing can touch the amazingness of cuts. The fifth sign that you have low expectations is that you are embarrassed to take your clothes off. I'm just just, just tossing it out there. And you can only answer for yourself. If you are somebody that doesn't like or feel comfortable when they take their shirt off at the beach or you don't want to get naked in front of your spicy senorita, this is a sign that you have let yourself go and that you have low expectations for you and your body. People with low expectations, guys, they just throw in the towel. They're like, it's not easy. I would rather do what I've been doing as opposed to eating a healthier diet, as opposed to going to the gym and taking care of myself. Guys, here's Here's the truth. If you want it, you can have it. But it takes you taking an active role in your health and your fitness. There is no reason to be embarrassed about getting naked. There is no reason for you to not want to take your shirt off at the beach. Do you think it's a coincidence that like 90% of dudes out there have dad bods and man boobs? The answer is no. It's typical of what's going on in our society. People have accepted the lower standard for themselves. Gentlemen, it's time to raise it. Say no to man boobs. The sixth sign that you have low expectations is that you don't think you're special. You are comfortable being average. You think that there's nothing special about you. You think that you can't do it. Why should you be the one? Why should you be the one out of all your friends to be successful? Why should you be the one out of your family that finally goes to college, that does something with their life? You are comfortable accepting your situation as opposed to deciding it's something that you want to change. Do not allow yourself to fall into that mentality. You've got to stop falling into the mind mindset that you can't do it or that you're average or that nobody around you has done it and that you can't. Gentlemen, if your dreams aren't scaring you, that's a sign that you do not have high enough expectations. If your dreams aren't scaring you, gentlemen, that means that they're not big enough. That means that you are comfortable accepting what life gives you as opposed to taking life by the balls. And last but certainly not least, the seventh sign that you have low expectations, there are people in your life that treat you poorly and you take it. People with low expectations have low standards in terms of the people that they have in their life. They allow themselves to be treated poorly or talked down to or not respected in the manner that they deserve and need to be respected. If you have people in your life that are toxic, that are not good for you, and you are allowing them to beat you down emotionally, you do not have high enough standards for yourself and the people that you surround yourself with. Gentlemen, you are amazing. You've got to understand that until you get out of this weak, toxic, toxic minded mentality, you are never going to be happy, you are never going to be fulfilled, and you are never going to dominate life.